fuel. How much do we take with us and why? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you for watching this video. I hope you're all doing great today. Okay, so first things first. Every airline has their own policy regarding the amount of fuel to be taken. In company A, you have to explain every 100 kilograms of extra fuel you wish to take along, while in the other company, you can basically take as much as fuel as you like, as long as it does not exceed any weight limitation. Besides, long-haul airline pilots take other fuel margins into account than short-haul airline pilots. So let's start with the trip fuel. The trip fuel is the amount of fuel needed for all phases of flight starting from the moment the airplane is taking off until the landing at the destination airport. The trip fuel contains fuel for takeoff, cruise, descent, approach and landing at the originally planned destination. It also takes into account any early descents or restrictions. Taxi fuel is the amount of fuel required for taxi, APU users on the ground and engine start. The taxi fuel is usually a fixed quantity for an average taxi duration, but specific conditions can result in different expected fuel burn on the ground. A simple runway change or slot can already result in a lower take of fuel than expected. And obviously all of this has to be taken into account and adjusted. To give you an example, in Barcelona El Prat we normally use around 400 kilograms of fuel for taxi, while in small Greek airports we use 200 kilograms. Continuously fuel is the amount of fuel for unexpected factors which can have an influence on the fuel consumption. Factors like different taxi times, weather, cruising levels or route is all part of the contingency fuel. Contingency fuel is a part of the reserve fuel and should be 5% of the planned trip fuel. Apart from that, the amount should be enough to fly for 5 minutes at holding speed at 1500 feet above the destination airdrome in standard conditions. The alternate fuel is the amount of fuel needed to fly a missed approach at the destination, to climb cruise at the expected cruising level, descend again and approach the alternate and land. The destinations often have the same alternates, like Girona or Reus are alternates for Barcelona, uh, Cos is an alternate for Rodos and Bergamo the alternate for Milan Malpensa, etc. This also has a downside. Whenever pilots need to divert, there's a high probability that other pilots divert to the same place. If the area around Barcelona, for example, is being harassed by really bad weather, at least 10 Ryanair airplanes are all going to Girona or Reus. Instead of being number 10 in the hold with all kinds of low fuel situations, it might be better to proceed to Valencia, for example. The final reserve fuel is the amount of fuel required to fly for 30 minutes at 1500 feet above the alternate or, when an alternate is not required, at the destination at holding speed in standard conditions. For airplanes with reciprocating engines, the minimum fuel required is 45 minutes. Together, the alternate fuel and the final reserve fuel is called the reserve fuel or minimum diversion fuel. Additional fuel. Additional fuel is the amount of fuel required which is added to comply with the law and any company requirement. Examples could be ETOPS fuel, fuel required for a destination in a place where there's no alternate, and fuel required to satisfy a minimum equipment list item. Discretional or extra fuel is the amount of fuel to be carried at the discretion of the pilot in command. The captain could add fuel due to any reason, but the most commonly used reason to take extra fuel is due to weather. Companies have a minimum amount of fuel to be carried for every flight. 4000 kg and 5000 kg at least in the winter is something a couple of airlines do. The captain and first officer discuss the total amount of fuel for every flight and end up with a specific number. This number is the amount of fuel pilots take with them. I hope this was not too boring for you and that you have a better understanding now of the fuel we take with us on every flight. Check out my website dutchpilotgirl.com for many aviation and pilot career related content. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget, forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. I hope to see you in the next video guys. Bye bye. Total fuel, reserve fuel. For airplanes with uh, reciprocating, for airplanes with reciprocating, uh, reciprocating. 
For airplanes with uh, received percating air engines, 